What's going on, nation? Today I'm gonna to demonstrate for you guys two must-do exercises for bigger traps. Now, in most workouts, people like to do traps with their back and shoulders, and that's fine. You can do those exercises, those muscle groups together, they work very well together, but what happens with a lot of people when they do these lifts is they save the traps for last. And chances are, if you're saving traps for last, you're low on energy, and you might not be hitting them as hard as you could. So if traps are a lagging body part for you, I want you to switch your workouts up and hit traps first. And with that being said, I wanna make sure that you guys include these two exercises to make sure you're hitting those traps as hard as possible. Because remember, there's the upper, middle, and lower portions of your traps, and you need to be hitting all those areas in order to make that muscle as big as possible. Now for each exercise I'm gonna show you, I want you guys doing four sets of 10 repetitions with one burn per set, and you're only taking a 60 second rest period in between those sets. And what a burn set is, is as soon as you finish 10 repetitions, you're gonna immediately lower it by 10, 20, maybe 30 pounds, depending on what exercise you're doing, and then do another 10 repetitions before taking that rest period. The first exercise I'm gonna show you guys is the barbell shrug. And this is also an exercise that I highly recommend you start your workout with because it's going to allow you to put a really heavy load on your traps right from the beginning. And this exercise is going to primarily target your upper traps, but another really good benefit from the barbell shrug is that you have to use your erector spinae muscles as stabilizers to keep your body upright when doing the exercise because you have to stand upright like this, chest up, core tight, bring your shoulders back to perform the movement. So for those of you who have posture problems, this will help you stabilize a bit more and have better posture as you work through the movement. So that's another quick tip for you. Now to perform the barbell shrug, you wanna grab the barbell with your hands just about shoulder width apart, okay? Get a nice firm stance. I like to keep a slight bend in my knees when I do this. And you wanna make sure that you're pulling your shoulders back. You don't wanna be like this doing the exercise. Remember, you gotta bring those shoulders back, keep your chest up, keep your arms straight, and then the focus of this movement is to bring your shoulders to your ears and then come back down. And get a nice stretch at the bottom of the movement. All the way up, shoulders to ears, come back down, get a nice stretch, shoulders to ears, come back down. Now, it's gonna be really important for you guys to realize a few things when doing the barbell shrug. Number one, you wanna keep your biceps out of the exercise. So, if you're doing the shrug and you're looking in the mirror, you start to notice this when you're coming up and your arms are bending, you're taking pretty much 50% of the movement out of your traps because the bar is only moving because you're moving your biceps. You wanna be able to keep those arms as straight as possible and bring your shoulders up and come all the way back down. So if your biceps are bending, either it's a form problem or the weight's a bit too heavy. There's a few different ways we can combat this. One way is to use wrist wraps. And so if you guys don't know what wrist wraps are, it's these things right here. They just go on your wrists, pretty easy to use. Then you wrap them around the bar to give you a grip. And then what this is gonna do, it's gonna take your, your forearms, your grip strength out of the movement. And it's also gonna help you take your biceps out of the movement because you can pretty much let the barbell just hang in your hands. Now, if you do use wrist wraps, these aren't an excuse to load three or four 45s on each side and look like a jackass throwing the weight around. Because if you start doing that, you're not targeting your traps as all, at all. And you'll see this in the gym a lot too. If your form goes from doing this and looking nice and smooth to, to this, you're not doing anything. You're not activating your traps, you're not getting really any muscle breakdown. All you're doing is putting a lot of weight on the bar and showing everyone that you know how to use momentum to throw it around. Remember, if you guys wanna build muscle, you have to actually target that muscle. And in order to target your traps, you have to make sure you're taking as many other muscle groups out of the equation as possible to get all that tension in your traps for maximum muscle damage. Now I do have one other quick tip with this exercise. When you're doing the barbell shrug, you might have to go a bit lighter in order to do this, but because you're primarily activating your upper traps, you can keep your core tight and bend over slightly, which is gonna change the range of motion of the movement and then come up like this and get a bit more mid-trap activation throughout the movement. I'll show you guys from the side. So, you're gonna keep your back arched, you're gonna lean forward a bit, the bar's gonna hang in front of you. You're still pulling your shoulders to your ears, but you're gonna get a bit more mid-trap along with upper trap engagement when doing this. 
And again, if you notice that you're using your biceps throughout the movement, try using some wrist wraps and let it all just kind of hang and really focus on that range of motion right here. Now the second exercise you're gonna do is the barbell upright row. And when you perform this movement, you wanna make sure you're grabbing the barbell shoulder width or just outside of shoulder width. And to perform with proper form, what you're going to do is keep your chest up, keep your core nice and tight, and then you're gonna visualize lifting the bar with your elbows. So you're gonna pull it straight up like this, as high as you can, pulling with your elbows first and really squeezing your traps before coming back down. And you wanna keep as much tension in your traps as possible you guys don't want to be bringing it up like this and then just dropping it, okay? Nice strict form, keep that chest nice and high, keep your core nice and tight, and really focus on activating your traps on the way up and on the way down. What I actually like to do is when I get to the bottom, I like to get a bit of a stretch at the bottom in my traps before coming back up and repeating the movement. I want you guys to see what this looks like from the back as well. When doing this movement from the back, you guys can really see how it looks when you pull up with your elbows first. Pulling up with your elbows is gonna allow you to take your biceps out of the exercise and really focus on isolating your traps with every movement. If the weight's too heavy and you guys are having to use a lot of force to bring the barbell up, chances are you're just activating muscles that really don't need to be activated during the exercise, like your biceps. You wanna keep as much of that up here as possible. Now, it is really important that you guys pay attention to how I was gripping the barbell. You will see people do this exercise with their hands really close. Now, the clo you guys can actually get out of your seat right now and try this. Just stand up with me right here, and I want you to put your arms in front of you just like this and lift straight up. The first thing you're going to notice is that a lot of the, the tension throughout the movement transfers to the front of your body, so you're activating a lot more of your anterior deltoid less of your traps, you're activating more in the front of your body. And what happens is that can actually cause shoulder impingement. A lot of people complain about having shoulder problems or if they have a shoulder injury, that this exercise aggravates their shoulder because of shoulder impingement, which is true if you're grabbing it really close like this. Now the goal of the exercise is to target your traps. So if you want to target your traps, stand up with no weight and literally just bring your arms to here and then lift up like this and you're gonna feel that the tension transfer from the front of your body to the back. You're gonna hit more middle delt, more rear delt, and you're definitely gonna feel a lot more activation throughout your traps. So it does make a difference on how you grip that barbell. So make sure you practice with light weight first, make sure you feel it where you're supposed to feel it, and then go into your set. Now before I let you go, I wanna leave you with one final tip. You can actually do both of these movements on the Smith machine. And for those of you guys who have a hard time with that mind-muscle connection and really focusing on the area you're trying to target, this might help you build that better mind-muscle connection so you can get a more effective workout when you start working with the barbells. So, if you're doing the first exercise, the barbell shrug, obviously you're gonna set up the same exact way you would if doing this not on the Smith machine. That's a very important thing to keep in mind. Whenever you use a Smith machine, no matter what exercise you're doing, always try to mimic the same exact form that you would use when you're using a regular barbell. That way it transfers over very easily. So, for this exercise, you're gonna stand in place, grab the barbell about shoulder width apart, and then focus on keeping your core tight, your chest up, and bringing your shoulders to your ears, and then coming back down, just like this. And it's gonna be nice and smooth. You don't have to worry about the barbell flying all over the place, and you'll be able to really focus on isolating your traps. Same thing for the barbell upright row. Grab just outside of shoulder width, stand as close as you can to the bar, because remember, you're not controlling it on the way up and down. It has a strict range of motion. So you're gonna have to lean forward probably a little bit, keep your chest up, and bring it up, and really focus on pulling with your elbows. Try to hold on to the barbell with your hands, but keep kind of a relaxed grip, so you're not really targeting your forearms too much, and then try to pull with your elbow to avoid using your bicep. And that's probably gonna be the hottest thing for you guys to learn how to do, but you can practice on the Smith machine. So, lean forward, make sure that bar drags up your body, go as high as you can, bring it up to your chin, and then back down and practice like this. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any of you guys need a full 12 week program focused on building muscle and strength, make sure you click the link down in the info section below to my, my 12 week transformation challenge. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, 
more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.